Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood. We're talking Photoshop CS5, and this episode's brought to you by tipsquirrel.com. We're going to take a look at the new Scrubby Zoom feature inside of CS5. Let's go ahead and jump right in. To really appreciate the feature that is Scrubby Zoom, we have to take a look at how far the Zoom tool has come. I'm going to go ahead and hit Z for Zoom. And in the past, if I wanted to zoom in on an object, I'd simply left click, and that would take me right to the spot. And of course, if I wanted to zoom in precisely on an area, I could create a zoom marquee. And this simply means that I would just drag out a selection with the zoom tool, and then I'd zoom to that spot. With CS4, they introduced this idea of an animated zoom. Notice as I press and hold the mouse, it animates and zooms in. And if I hold the Option key or Alt key on the uh, PC, I can just animate and zoom out. All these zooms work really well. The trouble is the zoom marquee is kind of clunky, and the animated zoom is rather slow. So if we take a look now in CS5, up in the toolbar options, we have a checkbox that says Scrubby Zoom. I'm going to go ahead and check that. And here's the change. If I simply press and hold the left mouse button, when I drag right, it's going to zoom in. And when I press and hold and drag left, it's going to zoom out. So now I can easily zoom into a spot I want or zoom out. Right? It's really quick and easy. Gotta love it. Going to throw in a quick additional tip because we have the time your brushes. Let's talk about sizing your brushes. Here's a couple changes to CS5. You can use of course your bracket keys. The square brackets left will go smaller, right square bracket will go bigger. And in CS4 they introduced this idea of a mouse dragging option to resize the brushes. I'm going to show you the quick changes they made in CS5. Right? In CS5, if I want to mouse drag and resize a brush, listen carefully. Here's the keyboard shortcut, and I'll pop it up on the screen. On a Mac, you're going to do Control Option, left mouse click, and if you drag left and right, this is the size of the brush. If you drag up and down, this is the change in CS5, up and down is going to change the feathering. All right, so this is the change in CS5. So again, on the Mac, it's Command Option, and then you left drag, left and right, to change the size, up and down, to change the feathering. If you want to do the same thing on a PC, you hold the Alt key and use the right mouse button. Again, left and right will be the size, up and down will be the feathering. There's another way that we can change the brushes or change options for our brushes in CS5. On the Mac, that would be Control, Option, Command. This will now give us an in-screen color picker. So again, that's Control, Option, Command gives me an in-screen color picker, and I can actually go and choose my colors. If you wanted to do that on the PC, you would press Alt, shift and then you would right click. So once again on the Mac that's control option command left click and on the PC it's alt shift and right click that will give you the in image color picker. One last tip and then I'm out of here. Hold the alt key and now you get an eyedropper ring inside your photo and you can choose your color. What I like about this is right over the eyedropper I can see what color it is I'm changing to. Notice the top half of the ring tells me the color I'm switching to. The bottom half of the ring shows me the color I'm currently at. And just to add Justin Seeley's little quick tip, you can even drag outside of Photoshop and look at this. I'm pulling the colors off the icons on the dock of my toolbar. So there you have it. I'm AJ Wood. Those are some quick Photoshop CS5 tips. Back at you. Have a great one. I'll see you later.